All right, what you see here is a new fan I bought off of OfferUp. This is a Hunter Adirondack ceiling fan. It is a ceiling fan that was sold exclusively at Lowe's. So recently they have discontinued this and came out with a new version called the Adirondack 2. But in all honesty, it looks identical to this. I think it's just, I'm not sure if it just doesn't have pull chains on it or something like that. I'm not sure. But it literally looks the same thing. It's just the only difference I could say is that it has a newer canopy and it actually has a Hunter logo on the top portion of the motor housing as well. Mixed in with like the trees and the bear and the moose and all that. But um, yeah, this is actually a pretty, I wouldn't say it's a huge childhood fan of mine, but it's definitely a fan from my childhood that I've always liked to work off. Um, anytime I had to go and visit my dad at his uh, cabin, I was always telling him that if he didn't, instead of putting up those buckwood ceiling fans that he has, that he should get one of these instead, because I think they looked a bit cooler for a wild cabin. And we never ended up getting one. Um, he did show interest in buying them, but at that point, um, they just stopped selling them in the stores, so it was kind of harder to convince him to get one since it wasn't in the stores no more. Um, I'm thinking of either getting a nut one for his new house that he's getting. I'm just not sure if he actually wants rustic looking stuff anymore there, but, um, yeah, this is like the fan that I've always just wanted to get for him and such. And, I've always, and I just like the look of it, just like the craftsman ship on the motor housings, what I really like, and just the white that goes with it. And the blades, I really do like the, the look of it as well. But, um, it just reminds me a lot of, like, just spending time with my dad as a kid, like, going up to New Hampshire and such. Or, like, going up to North Conway. Seeing the lighting very similar to this, or stuff, decorations that look very similar to this in general. But, um, yeah, this one is... It's not a super old one. It's not an extremely new one either. It does have an older canopy to it. Um, it's not a triangular one, but it does have that... It, a canopy that's kind of tricky to find a mounting bracket to, to because it's, um, it's not the three-screwed type. It's just a two-screwed one with the angled mounting plate that it would use. Um, after I bought it from the seller, I knew as I was missing that and I realized it was a type that I d is a very strange type of mounting plate that it would use compared to other hunter fans so I messaged him and he said he was going to work around for it but um I did contact Hunter about it to see if I can maybe get a replacement one and such which is the nice thing I do know like if you even if you buy a used fan and if it's something that they still make they they can offer you a replacement part for it and all that so I think I might as well tr try with this one I got it for a really good price too. Originally they were asking 200, but there was just more for them testing the waters to see what people would offer for it. And offered like $50 for it and they agreed to it. So I met up with them pretty close to actually where um, Brandon lives. So it was actually kind of convenient because I was actually meeting up with him that day to pick up a Casablanca fan for him, which you guys will see later on. But um, it was actually perfect for time wise because it was like right, it was actually pretty close to where he lives. So I picked this up and then I went to Brandon's right after and then from there on I just went on just, but, um, yeah I just I've really always liked the um, blade arms on them especially they have like a, they look like like iron all together the white kit on it I really like especially with the white shades and such yeah, it's the Hunter logo down here it has a newer Hunter logo unfortunately it's not an older old it's not like a earlier version of the Order Hunter logo, but it's the same thing to me. It really doesn't make a make of a difference. This one specifically is from the 11th week of 2012. Here's the final one for, for it on top. And when I was talking about the canopy, I'm, I'll show you what I mean. It's basically it's like this, but it has two screw holes on one side and two screw holes on the other. So there's two of them right here and there's two of them right there. So it's like a more of, a, kind of like with the Hunter Bay type mounting brackets, but it's in, this one's in the shape of a Hunter one, but it's with the ones that have that curved angle to them. So make, finding a canopy that'll fit this one from Hunter is gonna be a pain because it's definitely not one that they use for that long. But um, thankfully they still make the fans. So I can always just get the newer version of the canopy. Which, from what I've seen, the newer versions are not that complicated to install. Like the new, They're more of a simple one. 
But I um, mean, yeah, it also has these deer antler pull chains, which I always found to be pretty cool. It was either it was either this or the Hampton Bay Lodge that I was going to try to get for him, but since well, it's something I would always want him to try to buy for his house. But I figured it would be the better one out of Jacob Wise from Hunter and two. It was a cheaper one out of two. It was like one eighty nine, and whereas the, the other one was like two hundred forty nine. But also this one has four lights instead of three, so we I figured this would be better for lighting purposes and such. But um. But, um, yeah. So here it is, and this is the Hunter Adirondack ceiling fan I got off of OfferUp. And, yeah, and that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more videos to come.